best team, Philadelphia Phillies. And okay. They're going to mash. I know. That offense. Kyle Schwarber, DH. T- JT Real Muto catching. Bryce Harper, right field. Nick Castellanos in left. That top four. Reese Hoskins, first base. Top five. Gene Segura, second. Six. D.D. Gregorius, that's short. Yep. Uh, Matt Veerling in center. Mm. And Bryson Scott at third. Eight, nine is whatever. Like, yeah. is eh. But the one through seven is D.D. hitting seventh, yeah. So good. That lineup's going to rake. Yeah, they're not going to play good defense. No, I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> yep. But defense may cost them some games. Yeah. Bench, Garrett Stubbs, Alec Bohm, Johan Camargo, Mickey Moniak, who I like. Yeah, that's a good bench. Mm-hmm. I like the bench a lot. I and, you, see, and you got Joe Girardi as your manager. I could see Moniak starting in center field over Matt I Veering. think eventually, yeah. Veerling, sorry. Um, but yeah, no, he's been killing it in the spring. Johan Camargo, solid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bohm, yeah. Rotation, Aaron Nola, Kyle Gibson, Zach Eflin, Ranger Suarez, Zach Wheeler. Not bad. Mm-mm. Why is Wheeler five? I don't know. Is he hurt? No, he's fine. Wasn't he good last year? Mm-hmm. I thought he was like Cy Young contender, That's right? what I'm saying. Uh, Wheeler. He Maybe he's going to miss week one like, or opening series. I don't he know. He made 32 starts last year, 304. Nope, hold on. 278 ERA. Yeah, that's what I'm starts. saying. Why is he sick? Unless that, that could be wrong. Could be. I think it could change by opening day. Yeah. Based on what they're pitching in the spring. The only thing I can think of is that he needs more time. They're going to give him another round of rotation and then start him up. Yeah. Make because he's six six people, right? That's five. That's five. Hmm? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's but great. it'll be. I mean, essentially, it's Aaron uh, Nola and then Wheeler one two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nola Wheeler Gibson. That's a good top three. Mm. And Ranger Suarez. Yeah, he's not he's bad. Looking good. Yeah. Bullpen: Corey Knebel, Jose Alvarado, Jiris Familia, Brad Hand, Connor Brogdon. Sir Anthony Dominguez, James Norwood, uh, can't read that. Bailey Falter, Nick Nelson, Christopher Sanchez. It's a good six seventy nine. Uh, Caneva, Alvarado, Familia, and Dominguez. Yeah, right hand if he can get things oh, right. Oh yeah, right hand. Yeah. But yeah, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Uh, I mean, they have uh, just, Jojo Romero, her yeah. uh, Sam Coonrod, Kent Emanuel. It just seems like they have good people, like good players, they but then don't, they don't they don't pitch well, yeah. and it makes no sense. I agree. Like, I like Alvarado, but I think he was, at times, was bad last year. Jose Alvarado? But his stuff is nasty. Because he was in Tampa, right? But his stuff is nasty. I mean, he was in Tampa. Two uh, years ago, right? Yeah, he was in Philly last year. He got traded, right? No. Uh, probably in the offseason, but he Maybe, was in yeah. Philly last year for a full year. 420 okay. ERA. Oh, there was just a trade for the Yankees. What happened? I don't know. I'm pulling up right now. We'll see. Uh, Continue. Yankees are acquiring reliever David McKay from the Rays. Okay. I don't know who that is. David McKay. Who's yeah. David McKay? The Yankees are not trading a player to the Rays. Huh. So it's just cash then? Probably cash considerations. Let's pull up David McKay real quick. Okay. David. He'll go on the 40, man. So he's going to be. He's going to be up. He's got one option left. Let's see. David McKay. Is this him? He was in Detroit last year, if this is right. I don't know if this is him. I mean, he's the only one coming up on baseball reference for me. I'm assuming that this has to be him. Oh. He was awful. He, yeah, he's not been good. Let's check his spring stats real quick. I know this is... Oh, yeah, here we go. 7.36 year right in spring. Three games. What well, I don't know. What a, We're off. Whatever. I mean, he'll be in the minors. Oh, yeah, he'll be in the minors anyway. Um, but I'm yeah. sorry. At least. No, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Philly's bullpen, solid. Like you said, though, it's... The, they've been good players, just not good for the Phillies. Yeah, I like Canable closing for them, too. So, I don't know if he'll last as the closer, though. Who do you think? Alvarado? Well, Familia, maybe? Oh, yeah. I forgot Familia, yeah. So, well, we'll see. They have three people who could close. So. Yeah. I mean, Sir Anthony Dominguez has also tried closing as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, Phillies. I said the Phillies will lead the National League in home runs, but finish in the bottom 10 in MLB in batting average. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have... So this goes hand in hand with my uh, player award prediction. Okay, Bryce Harper will win back to back MVPs with the Phillies just missing a playoff spot. Will win MVP. Phillies miss playoffs. Okay. Um, what by like a game or two? Yeah, yeah. I think the spoiler. I think the Mets will be, just beat them out mm. by a game or two, just because of I think. Well, so. Going by my prediction that DeGrom only making 10 starts, 
maybe, uh, I don't. I mean, you're covering your bases. Either yeah, way. I don't know if that's entirely going to happen. <laughs> right. But if it doesn't, but they still have sure that they have Chris. That's Bassett. what I'm saying. If it doesn't happen, yeah. I think Degrom being healthy for those whatever games could make a difference if the Phillies make missing the playoffs. Fair. You're right. Uh, Damien said Kyle Schwarber, Nick Castellanos, and Bryce Harper will hit 110 home runs. So like almost 40 each, about 30 uh, 35. Each. Yeah, about 35 each. 35 each, yeah. Uh, 37, something like that, yeah. Yeah. Or Harper hits 40, Schwarber hits 30. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, the three of them, 110 home runs. I think Schwarber's going to destroy in Citizens Bank Park. Yeah. Yeah, lefty in that. Yeah. Field, yeah, in that park. I mean, all like I said, all of them are for the most part hitter friendly yeah. or kind of neutral. There's no pitcher friendly parks in the East. Yeah, I mean, Nationals Park is pretty average. I've been there, haven't been to Miami yet, but that doesn't look like it's a pitcher friendly park. I've been to City Field, and that's standard. I mean, the fences might be a little further back than some mm-hmm. of the others, but yeah, Citizen Bank Park is very hitter friendly. Yeah, but 